Hello everyone, I'm Eric Hamilton, the Internet Guru, and today we're going to do an overview of HTML. And HTML, of, of course, is the, the backbone language of the Internet. So we're going to start off by using my favorite HTML editor, which is simply Notepad. So we're going to launch Notepad by, use, by simply clicking from Windows XP, start, run, and then the word Notepad. Notepad opens up, and then I'm going to type in simply my first website right into here. We're going to save this document as first website.html. So we're going to just go ahead and type that out here. And again, I just launched Notepad and just uh, the words my first website in the Notepad document. I click save here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to open up this HTML document that I just created, which is my first website, in this web browser. So let me just resize my web browser here. And we're going to file open. There's my file, the first website.html. Let's go ahead and open that up. And there it is, my first simple website, which just is a notepad document that ends in HTML that contains that information. So I have a tool here that is going to simulate Notepad. So on the left side, you'll see the, the, the HTML text. And on the right hand side, you'll see the subsequent H, the, uh, web file that you would see on the internet. So here I'm demonstrating headings. So I'm just going to change this heading to Eric's heading. Uh, you'll see the H1 bracket tag. And you'll see subsequently on the right hand side, it, uh, you have the enlarged headings for the heading command. So you'll see H1, H2 all the way down to H6. Next, I'm going to show you the comments tag. And the comments is simply used to put comments in your HTML files. And these comments are not seen by the browser. So if you want to just have notes or something like that, that would help you out for later use, that's a good thing to have. So next we're going to show you the paragraph tag, and that's just the bracket P here that I'm highlighting, and then the end bracket. And again, you wrap your paragraphs in the, in the paragraph tags, and it puts the appropriate spacing in between those tags. So here that I'm highlighting the results of what you would see in your web browser from using the paragraph tag. Next, I'm going to demonstrate for you the line break, line break tab, which is the bracket BR tag. <clears throat> and it's just simply used to, to simply make line breaks. So you'll notice here, we have strategically placed line breaks. So what I'm gonna simply do is add a few extras here. So let's add about two or three extra line breaks. And then on the right hand side in your web browser, you'll see the extra line breaks appear for you. Next, we are going to show you the horizontal rule tag, which is the bracket HR bracket is the, the tag. And it simply places a horizontal rule, a horizontal line on your website. And you'll notice those on the right hand side. So let's add a few extras, just add about three or so extra line uh, horizontal rules in and you'll see those horizontal rules appear on your right hand side. So next I'm going to demonstrate for you HTML formatting. Formatting, you can format text, bold, italics, so forth and so on. And I'm going to show you that here. So on the left hand side is the bracket B right hand side. You'll see that it in sub subsequently has bold text. Also have the big big text with the big HTML tag, italics, which is the bracket I bracket tag. Also have code, which is a code tag, which shows you your HTML and, and computer code. Also has, also have the subscript, which of course makes things in subscript. And then superscript, which of course makes things in superscript. So next, I'm going to demonstrate for you HTML styles. And with the styles, you can do all sorts of things 
something. One of which is control the background color of your website. Currently we have this, see we have it, we have it highlighted here as powder blue. But let's say if we want to change that to say purple. Let's type purple in and we'll do a refresh. And you'll see that that changes the background color to purple, but I can easily change it to orange, do a refresh, and then we have orange. Also we have, like I demonstrated earlier, the heading tag. Um, we can change the heading here from H1 to H2, and you'll notice that it slightly shrinks it down because the H2 heading is a little bit of a smaller size. Right here for styles, font, we have Verdana. But let's change this to Arial and do a refresh, and you'll notice that on the right hand side, the font changes to Arial. So, also, we have the ability to we also have this green uh, text here and times font. Down here at the bottom, we have the font size is 30 pixels, but let's change that to 50 pixels. And you'll notice that once we change it to 50 pixels and do a refresh, that in turn it uh, gets a little bit larger there for us. So that's another styles command, and I'll just change this to 50 to reflect the change in the, the size of the font. So also we have the, the background which I demonstrated earlier. We'll change that to brown and that's about it. So we hope that you've enjoyed this HTML overview. You have a great day and bye bye now.